thousands on my wrist. I spend thousands on my kicks. Making money brings me bliss. I only want the good stuff. I only use the best. Bogatti, Ferrari, Austin Martin, private jets. Life is good, crazy wild. Man, I love this lifestyle. Friends rich like I am. See the glitz, see the glamour. Live in heaven every day. I'm going by the pearly gates. I ain't blessed. I don't pray, don't love the Lord. I, I love, love my, my life. life. Perfect. Perfect. My life is perfect. I love my life. It's perfect. It's perfect. My life is perfect. My faith is money. My faith is money. My faith is gold. My faith is gold. I save myself. <laughs> Me. The story's told. Uh -huh. I am the way. The way. The light, the one. Yeah. Don't need a God or a son. I'm drinking stars, sipping light, living the good life. You know what, guys? Let's call it a day and grab a coma at Dukes. Hey, sounds good to me, man. Let's go. You owe me for the last one, man. Man, he owes uh, all of us. <laughs> hey, you guys, have you seen Shane? He's been surfing a long time. I don't see him. Have you seen him? No, I thought he was with you. No, he said he was catching a last wave with you, Mark. Oh. Yo, is that Shane's board? That's Shane's board. Call 911. Let's go, guys. Come on, Chase. Come on. gathered here today to celebrate the life of a great man, Shane Badman. We all knew him as a dynamic businessman, as well as a bright light in our community. But he was also the loving and dedicated husband to his wife, Hannah. And although we will miss him, we take comfort in knowing that he's in a better place in the loving arms of God Excuse me, guys! Get back to work! Excuse me. Can you please tell me where I am? Yo. Hey, man. Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? What, what is this? Are you crazy? Hör verdammt mal auf mit mir zu reden! Was ist denn dein Problem, hä? Halt dein blödes Mal, hast du mich verstanden? Hör verdammt mal auf mit mir zu reden! Sir, please. I need you to answer me. Where am I? What is this place? Hey! Are you stupid? I'm talking to you! You speak English? <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> Is 
everyone a nutcase in here? No! You're the nutcase! Where in hell, dude? Isn't it obvious? Didn't you think this was Disneyland? <laughs> <laughs> That's impossible! Water's great, hon. <sighs> Doesn't get any better than this. Oh yeah, got a lot of waves. Thank God. You were gone a long time. It wasn't that long. What? I was worried a little. I mean, you could have drowned. It's always a possibility. <laughs> Don't you ever talk back to me! Got it? Get moving, slack! Oh, oh, please, I just need a little water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, since you said please, maybe I could just... <laughs> Not. You've been here too long, genius. There is no water in hell. There has never been water in hell. This fool keeps asking for water. He just doesn't get it. <laughs> All right, enough joking. Get moving, sinners. Excuse me. No talking during my hours. What's the matter with you? Where are we? Is this really hell? What do you think, Nipwit? You think this is heaven? Stupid American. I'm surprised I'm stuck in the same place as an ignorant dude like you. How come you did not get COVID-19? Wait, I've seen your picture before. You were that famous communist dictator in China. Yes, I am Mao Zedong. So what? All right, now this is really crazy. Most bizarre dream ever. <laughs> Trust me, you are not dreaming. Capitalist pig, look at you. What, you, you think you're better than me, huh? Down here, we are all the same. Get away from me. I got work to do. Where did you come from? How did you miss orientation? It's impossible. What? Who are you? Orientation. How did you escape orientation? It's never been done before. Look, is there a supervisor or someone I can speak to? There's been a terrible mistake. I, I know God doesn't make mistakes, but I I'm a Christian. I don't... I I'm not supposed to be here. If I had a dollar for every fake, Christian that said the same thing to me the last 2,000 years. I'd be a rich demon. A very rich demon. Now I don't know how you did it, but we'll get it sorted. Follow me. Look, I said there's been a big mistake here. This has to be a nightmare. I. I'm a Christian. I went to church with my wife. I gave donations. I, I went to church. I was a choir boy. I paid my tithes. Bonehead. Why does God always send the boneheads here? Why not a smart guy for once? Somebody who really gets it. Well, what, do you, what do you mean? I... Shut up! Get moving! What are you doing? I'm trying to wake myself up from this nightmare. You'll learn this at the briefing. There are three stages to hell. First stage, denial. Second stage, shock and tears. 
third stage. Resignation. The sooner you resign yourself to hell, the better, my friend. Although, it doesn't get much better. Get moving! On behalf of the entire firm, I'm very pleased to introduce Shane Badman as managing partner of Vantage 20 Equity Firm. Congratulations, yeah. Shane. Thank you, Peter. Mm -hmm. All right, Dad. I'll tell you what. Not to brag, but I'm not up here by accident. They chose me because I'm the best player in the game. My record speaks for itself. I don't play around. We are gonna wipe the floor with our competitors and we're not gonna stop until we own them. <laughs> Sweep the leg. No mercy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it is. Hey, everybody, shame. Hey, you're up super early. Is everything okay? Congratulations again on becoming partner, honey. I always knew you could do it, God willing. Could do it. I never had any doubt. But it's funny. I've worked my entire life for this moment and I'm still not happy. I finally understand Kevin Durant when he said he was still empty after winning the NBA championship. <laughs> I don't understand. All you've talked about was becoming partner and you finally made it. Yeah. I did. It's just not enough. I, I want something more and I don't know what that is. In the end, nothing in this world satisfies you. You know that. There we go again. Look. I believe in God, okay, Hannah? I do. But God has nothing to do with this. I'm just, I'm just not satisfied in my life. I want more, but I deserve more. We have more money than we know what to do with. Why, why don't we use some of it to serve the Lord? I'm good, Hannah. I, I can't be serving the Lord right now. Why? I don't know. Let's, let's just forget about it, okay? I want to talk to you today about something that's going to make some of you uneasy as well it should. I want to talk about hell. Did you know that 50% of Christians today do not believe in hell? Probably more than that. And yet Jesus spoke more about hell than anyone else in the Bible. You see, hell is a real place, just as real as heaven. And yet people don't want to believe a loving God would send anyone there. Well, I got some news for you. You send yourself there. You see, God already gave you an escape plan. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you will not go there. And yet most people in this world will not do that. Why not? We don't want Jesus to be the one in charge, the one calling the shots. We want to be in control. This is the number one reason why people do not become Christians. So, welcome to hell. Every day I have to have the same conversation with the same pathetic fool. One more for you, master. I don't know how he got away. How? You don't know? I 
have no idea. It's never happened before. I found him wandering around by himself asking stupid questions. Don't let it happen again. You will not like the consequences. Yes, Master. I'll never fail you again, I swear. Shane Badman, right? You're early. Accident? I don't know. Excuse me, folks. As I was saying, welcome to hell. You're probably thinking this is some kind of horrible nightmare, but it's not. It's real. God has sent you here. Or as this one pastor that I really hate likes to say, you sent yourself here. Oh, this can't be happening, please. This can't. Shut up. Oh. There will be no crying during my orientation. Cry once more and Rufus will shut you up. There must be a terrible mistake. I went to college. I got a good job to support my family. I volunteered for things. Please, I'm a good person. Rufus! Uh, 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 Listen to him! Uh, uh, Shut your mouth! Uh, There's no crying during the briefing! Uh, Are you okay? Don't even shame. There will be no comforting others in hell! Now, raise your hands if you think you don't belong here. <sighs> Unbelievable. Do they ever learn? And to think God let his son die for this vermin. Total losers, the whole lot. Raise your hands if you've ever heard the name Jesus Christ. Then that's why you're here, because you heard his name and did nothing about it. <laughs> hey, not my rules. Take it up with God. Until then, you will be working every day and every night. There will be no days off, there will be no nights off, there will be no time off, period. You will be collecting rocks and throwing them into the lake of fire. Got it? What? Was I not clear enough? Is there any chance we can get some water? I mean, my throat's on fire, I'm, I'm burning up. <laughs> and perhaps you would like an ice cube with your water. Or a twist of lime, perhaps. Uh, no lemon or lime is necessary, like just plain water. <laughs> Do you not hear anything I said? There will be no water in hell! I don't get a sip of water. I'll die of thirst. You are not going to die, sir. <laughs> Rufus! <laughs> no crying either! Much better. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. There are various levels of torment. You have not been assigned yet, but you will be assigned eventually. There are so many millions of you sinful losers to process. So we don't like complaining. Any more questions? Is there an appeal process? Next question. Yes. Can God still hear us down here? Can he see what's happening? I have no idea, Shane. After death, there is judgment. Look it up. Okay, that is all. Now start collecting rocks and throw them into the lake of fire. How did he know your name? 
You heard him. No talking! Get moving! Go! Faster! Move! You want to be slow? Move! Let me tell you something. Harry is the man we need in office, and we need him there now. <laughs> Harry, Harry has his priorities straight. <laughs> We've also got to extend the death penalty to all credit card scammers and thieves of all types, am I right? About last night, I just, God is not a politician, Shane. Some of the things you were saying are, I'm worried about you. What? Are you kidding? They, they loved me last night. You say you're a Christian, but where are your fruits? It's about obeying God's commandments, right? Showing the fruits of the Spirit. Love, kindness, gentleness, patience, and, and self-control, but you're always so filled with anger and hate. Listen, Anna, have I not always provided for you? Have I not been a good husband to you? We're in a real spiritual battle right now. And most Christians aren't even aware of it. The devil is real. <laughs> it's a good boy. <laughs> you look so familiar. Do you work at the Century Towers? My company owns the Century Towers. I'm the Managing partner of Vantage Equity? Of course. I've seen you before. I watched you in Forbes. I can't believe it. It's no, it's <laughs> no big deal. Okay. <laughs> what do you do? Who, me? Hey, uh, buddy. I'm hey, a buddy. model. Come here, do, 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 boy. Yeah, I do work here and abroad. Magazine covers, commercial work, things like that. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you're really beautiful. Thank you. Not so bad yourself, Mr. Badman. All that working out pays off. <laughs> well, very nice meeting you. Hope to see you again. Call me Shane. And yeah, for sure. Bye. Hey, Shane. You free for Bible study tonight? <sighs> no, sorry, I gotta run to another meeting in a few minutes. But have a good time, okay? Say hi to Shelly for me. Maybe we could read a couple chapters of scripture in the morning before you go to work? A couple chapters, what for? It'll be good for us. Meditate on the word day and night and we could pray too. Uh, I don't think I have time for that, I'm really swamped. Oh, <clears throat> all right, I'm running late. I gotta go, bye sweetie. Bye. As John Bunyan wrote in his classic, A Journey to Hell, suppose a sinner who is now a soul in hell is permitted to return to earth. Would he follow the same course of life that engulfed him in the flames of hell? This guy has got to get with the program. He's already talked about hell. We get it. He's got some kind of obsession. Shh. What are you talking about? This is a great message. Great message? Are you nuts? This guy sucks. I'm sick of this fire and brimstone crap. Let's go to the church of the Denny Dollar. Shh. Well, maybe you didn't like it, but I was blessed today. That was a really powerful message. I stopped listening after the first minute. I don't learn anything about that. Bible thumper. 
he's just, he's just ignorant is all. I mean, preaching about hell, that's old school fundamentalism. That may be so, but hell is a real place, Shane. Oh yeah? How do you know that, Hannah? Because, because Pastor Bill told you? Look, all I'm saying is we just need, we need relevant preaching for today, not, not, not 300 years ago. I mean, that's why I love guys like Jesse Duplantis. Jesse Duplantis? Mm -hmm. The guy with hundred million dollar planes? What's wrong with that? He's obviously blessed by God. Funny, that's what the Pharisees said back in the day. And the Bible says in the last days, people don't want sound teaching, they just want their ears tickled. And the Lord is coming back soon. Give me a break. People have been saying that kind of stuff for thousands of years. M maybe. Maybe Jesus will never come back. No, no way, Bruce. You tell him. Our final offer is 120 million, not a penny more. Good. Shane. I gotta bounce, honey. Look, I know I haven't been around a lot lately. I'm going to the beach with the boys this afternoon, but next week, let's you and me fly to Aspen and relax, okay? All right, gotta go. Did you call 911? Did you call them? Yes, I just called them. I, you can't find him? He was just serving the area like 30 minutes ago. Insane. This ain't good, guys. We need to get the ambulance out here quick. Insane, man. I can't believe this. Why are you just standing there? Do as you're told, stupid! I'm just taking a little break. There are no breaks in hell, sinner! <laughs> No! no. Oh. Ah. Are we really in hell? You're in hell. I'm in hell, okay? I'm sick of hearing that question. Awesome. How could this happen to a guy like me? I'm Shane Badman. You've been here 2,000 years. 2,000 years, eight weeks, 12 days. Who are you anyway? I'm Nero, the greatest emperor Rome has ever seen. <laughs> Why so surprised? You must have done something really bad to be down here with me. <laughs> Yeah, I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal savior. I'm, I'm saved. Mm, I've tortured and killed many, many Christians in my day. None of them ever said that. Christians in my time were willing to live and die for their beliefs. I should know. And I know this, you are not a Christian. Well, I don't care who you are. I am a Christian. And I'm getting out of here. Hey, man, why don't you just shut up? Why is everyone down here so rude? Who are you? Who am I? They call me Pastor Jack around here. You're a pastor? Yes, I was, or I thought I was anyways in my mortal life. What's going on here, man? Why are we here? Why are you here? Like you don't know. No, I don't. Enlighten me? Well, let me guess. You were one of those fools who thought you said a magic prayer, right? You accepted Jesus Christ by simply praying a prayer at some summer camp, and you thought your salvation was guaranteed. Yeah, that's what salvation is. Sorry to bust your bubble, young man, but you were wrong. Boy, were you wrong. All right, all right, enough. You sound like my wife. Now, where do I sleep? I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Fool, you never sleep. You don't know your Bible, do you? Revelation 14 says, this torture goes on forever, and there will be no rest day or night. This is impossible. I'm serious. Serious trouble. I can't believe I'm gonna be in 
here forever. Nine, nine, nine. What are you doing? Get away from the Fiora, you American cucks blocking. Wait. I know who you are. You're Adolf Hitler. Yeah, so what of it? You've been here since. Since I commit suicide in the bunker. Leave me alone, you American spine. Listen, guy. If anyone deserves hell, it's you. Not me. This is utter madness. I don't belong here with guys like you. Well, so how is my motherland, Germany? What do you care? You're in hell. I'm just asking, that's all. How is my motherland? So you haven't learned anything in all the time you've been here? Dumb cop! You don't get here to learn anything. You get here to get punished. We will be here forever. Next time, I will regale you some fond memories of the Führer. Sigal! Sigal! Das never speak to the Führer in that tone again. Hogan Schweizer! I don't belong here. Look, there's been a mistake here. The, 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 the wrong message must have gotten sent to the, the wrong inbox. I don't belong here. Shut up, big mouth! Shouting is reserved for us, not for the likes of you. How dare you shout at me? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's just, I don't belong here. It's all right. Let me tell you something that might comfort you. They all say that, fool! To those rules, if you know what's good for you. Let him be, Rufus. How are you, Shane? Not doing well. How do you know my name again? Oh, I know everyone's names. It's in the Book of Death. Pleasure to see you again. Please get me out of here. Sorry, no can do. I need to know something important. Is Hannah Badman here? Can you answer that question? You mean your wife? Why would she be here? She was a Christian. Yes, yeah, she was. A strong believer in Christ, which <laughs> explains why. why she's not here. She's in the Lamb's Book of Life because she was a faithful Christian. But why am I here? I was her husband, a good husband to her, and a, and a Christian too. Obviously not. I don't need to look in the book to tell you that. That's not true. I accepted Christ. God, please hear my prayer. Please rescue me from here. I, I know I wasn't the best Christian, but, but God, please. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 says to remember God before the silver cord is broken. That silver cord was your life. It's broken. God has given up on you forever. We are the only friends you've got now. Come, let me show you something. That was a deeply moving and insightful film. <laughs> Seriously, that was a terrible movie. Anna. Why? The acting was bad, the special effects were horrible. It was low budget, you could tell that all the way. Uh, well, some of that may be true, but it's still winning people to Christ chain. Uh, I so preachy, too. I hate Christian films. Why do those punks always have to play that stupid loud music? This planet is just so overpopulated with such worthless little idiots. Why do you have to do that? Can't they play some Mozart or something? Hey! Didn't the Bible say to love your neighbor? <sighs> Whatever. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Whose is this? Producer of Fast and Furious gave it to me. This is in 
the movie. Didn't you hear me? This was in the movie. John gave me this. It's just that this car could have gone to provide medical care for those suffering from COVID in Africa or send Bibles to Afghanistan. Africa and India are not my responsibility, Hannah, okay? This is our money. God freely gives us good things. Ignore me. Do you know who that guy is? No. That is Kim Il Sung, the North Korean dictator. He was a pastor, and then he turned to the dark side and killed over 200,000 Christians. The maniac. I love that guy. I am God! You cannot ignore me! You see, he belongs here, not me. Kick off my rock! What is the matter with you, stupid? I am God! It's suffocatingly hot here. You think this is hot? Wait till they throw you into the lake of fire. The lake of fire? What are you talking about? I thought this was hell. Oh, no, this is only Hades. After the great white throne judgment of Revelation 20, sinners and demons shall be thrown into the lake of fire. We're all going to go there. Come. Let me show you more. Hey, it's a little bit cooler up here. What's going on? You're going to the place of least torment. Still unbearable, but not as bad as the lower levels. I don't understand. This section is for those who never heard the gospel of Christ. Jesus talked about this. There are differing levels of punishment. Correct. For those who did not know the wills of God, they will receive less beatings. But this is still hell. You see that guy over there? That's the guy that stole your debit card and charged $3,000. Do you remember? Yeah. That's the guy? What's he doing up here? He belongs in the lowest level. Worthless slime bucket. Maybe, but he never heard about Christ. Hi, I'm the Nigerian Prince. Can you help me get $10 billion out of my royal bank account? He'll be saying that for all eternity. See that guy over there? Telemarketer. He made over 100 million robocalls for mortgage companies and then spammed another 100 million people with Viagra ads. Incredible. How did he get up here? He was a grade A jerk in a previous life. But again, he never had the chance to hear about Christ. He will have that phone glued to his ear for all eternity. Speaking of phones, you see that guy? That's the smartphone executive that slowed down your iPhone so that you had to buy a new iPhone every year. He's also the reason you have to keep changing that stupid password forever. He definitely deserves to be down here, lower than the demons. From your perspective, but from God's, he still never had a chance to hear the gospel of Christ. <laughs> How come he doesn't have to carry any rocks? Nobody has to carry rocks on this level. Where's my level? Come, I'll show you. Oh, no, no, it, it's too hot, Legion. I, I can't go anymore. This is the lowest level of Hades. For who? No one deserves this kind of torture. For those that heard of Christ and rejected Christ. You see that guy? Yeah. It's a pharmaceutical executive. He could have cured cancer, but didn't. It wasn't profitable. He also had the cure for the common cold. 
but it was more profitable to sell the red and orange cough syrups. He deserves this punishment. See that guy? CEO of the biggest airlines. He laughed at passenger rights, cancelled more flights than anyone. That guy, CEO of the tobacco company, he's responsible for over 12 million American deaths due to smoking since 1990. They all deserve the lowest pit of hell. You still don't get it, do you? They are all here because they heard of Christ and rejected him. Do you remember the Columbine Massacre? There's one of the killers. Yeah, I remember those losers. You're seriously putting me here with them? Hey, you, come here. Come here. What do you want, huh? This guy can't believe he's in hell with you. So what else is new? Get lost, fool. You're the fool. Where's your other loser friend? Excuse me? You talking to me? Yeah. I'm talking to you, you good-for-nothing sick piece of trash. Everyone on Earth hates you. <laughs> killing innocent people for no reason. Okay, maybe I am a sick piece of trash. But guess what? We're in the same place as you, loser. Welcome to the sick piece of trash club. Guess we're family now. <laughs> <laughs> That's got a point. Hey, Legion, you speak with Zulu about that. Sorry, uh, not a chance in hell, literally. Come on, man, cut us some slack. No chance. But I do love you guys. Let's go. I don't care what you punks say. You're nothing but dog poop to me. I wish I had been there to kill you myself. Two of the people you murdered, Rachel Scott and Casey Bernal, they're in heaven right now. Imagine that, losers. <laughs> with, with their God, who put us both here. Imagine that. Loser! Hey, anytime you want to go. Let's go! There'll be no fighting in hell. You'll be severely punished. Oh, how can it get any worse? The rocks. What are they doing? The rocks make the fire hot. Why would you want it any hotter? It's just for you humans. I can't. I can't take this heat anymore, Legion. It's unbearable. There, there's got to be some water down here somewhere. There, there, there's got to be a... a 7-Eleven or an AMPM Minima? I have told you and everyone else a million times, never. You will be thirsty for all eternity. I can't take this anymore. Oh, but you must. Oh, oh. It's like... It's like being in the World Trade Center during 9-11. I, I can't take it. No, it is ah. much worse. You're in the lowest part of hell. This is worse. This is worse than my worst nightmare. I hear that quite a lot. Look who we have here. You do know who that is, right? Having a clue. Figures. Well, my ignorant friend, this is Mr. Judas Iscariot. Do you have any more work for me to do? I'm dead tired. Yes, of course you are. And there is plenty of work. No rest for the wicked, Judas. Don't I know it? And no water. Why? Why what? And who are you? Why did you betray Jesus? You committed the worst sin in history. And who are you to judge me? You're here as well for the same reason. Who is this guy? He asked you a question, Judas. I betrayed the Lord Jesus, the only Son of God, the Messiah, who came to the world to save it from sin. Because I wanted some money, 
because money was my god. And now I will have to pay for all eternity. Well, it's getting late. I must be getting back. What? Where are you going? The, 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 Legion, you, you know the whole Bible. The, the, there's got to be something about a second chance. Uh, what about purgatory? Purgatory, again. Second chances. No! You had over two million chances. Did you know that? What are you talking about? In your lifetime, I observed 2,879,463 times you could have repented and come back to Christ. But you refused. I'm glad you did, as we wouldn't be having this conversation. Now I must go. There are more humans to tempt and persecute in the above realm. What? Where are you going? I will return when Lucifer calls. No, no, don't, don't, don't leave me here alone, Legion, please. Just don't leave me here. What are you worried about? You have all of eternity. Relax and suffer, sinful one. See you soon. Shower traffic, all caused by these low lives overbreeding the planet. Brother, that sounds like Scrooge complaining about the surplus population, man. <laughs> Look, Michael, I'm a Christian, okay? I'm just stating facts. I mean, none of these low lives are ever gonna find a cure for cancer or invent the new iPhone. They're just good at one thing. That's taking handouts from guys like me and you. You know? Sometimes nice. I hate all of them. Wow. What about loving your neighbor, man? Having compassion for those less fortunate than yourself? What about it? Does God want us to love imbeciles? I highly doubt it. Brother, God created everyone, man. You know, the Bible says uh, to think of others is more important than yourself. Philippians 2 and 3, my brother. Another thing, I can't stand Christians that are constantly spouting Bible verses at me. You're getting kind of fanatical, no offense. Well, hey, brother, I, I don't even know what to say, Shane. I just know that God created those people for some purpose, and I don't think it's a good idea to question that. That's all I'm saying, man. Whatever, man. Okay. Look, look here. We have to acquire this hotel complex before Hyatt does. Partners are putting the screws to me this time. You got it, boss. If Hyatt beats us out on this one, I fire the whole team, you included. You got it. Get it done, Mike. You got it. You got it, boss. I'm on it. I'm on it. Excuse me, sir. Um, could either of you spare some change? No, but I got some advice for you. Okay? <laughs> Take a shower, clean your filthy clothes, get a job, and stop taking drugs. Okay? You're welcome. It's not a very nice thing to say. Hey, mister, I'm talking to you. What do you think you are talking to people like that? You think you're better than me? No, I think I'm better than you. You already know the answer. I'm light years better than you. You know it and I know it. Anything else? Look, mister, I was just asking you for some change. Hey, hey, brother, look. Hey, here you go. Take that, all right? Sonny, God bless you, man, all right? Why are you giving him money? He's just gonna spend it on alcohol or, or drugs, isn't that right, you punk? Hey, mister, you don't understand. Look, I actually lost my job. Oh, I'm sorry, you lost your job. Yeah, I know that. You can't pull that crap on old Shane. I know your little games. Oh, oh. All, all right, Shane, I think he gets it, brother, all right? Plus, we got a meeting to get to. Let's get out of here, man. Oh, punk. If I was a dictator, the first thing I would do is take cockroaches like that cretin and exterminate all of them. Brother, you really got a lot of rage in you, man. I'm gonna be praying for you, man. Let's get out of here. Come on, let's go to the meeting. Yeah, let's go.
was that? What? What was what? Are you serious? Someone, oh, some idiot loser dented my door. Who allows their kids to do this kind of stuff? Right, look, look, th th don't worry about it, brother. Look, I, I'm sorry about the dent. I know a guy, we can get it fixed. Don't, don't worry about it, we'll get it taken care of. Now. No, no way. What? Someone stole my registration sticker. Now the LAPD is gonna pull me over. Unbelievable. You know who's doing this? Teenage gangs, regular people like you and me, we're the victims here. Come on, man, whoever did this just needs Christ, man. Christ? Yeah. Whoever did this needs to be thrown in a mental institution, thrown in prison without parole. We don't, that kind doesn't belong in the city. Oh, brother, I'm sorry about the dent, the registration sticker, we'll get that taken care of, man. Look, don't worry about it. Relax, brother, come on, let's go inside. You're right. Come on. <laughs> I just received a fresh anointing from the Holy Ghost. And I see a pile of money stuffed into a shiny new Mercedes for someone in the audience here tonight. New, shiny, sparkly, like our Father in Heaven. Do you think he wants you to be poor, huh? So, my question for tonight is who's gonna step up to the plate? The Spirit is telling me there's a man of faith here tonight, a bold man, a successful man, who will write me a check for $10,000 right now! I got you right here, Denny. Right here. I got that 10,000. Yes, yes, I know it. This man right here, this man will get the special blessing. This man, because of his sacrifice, a special blessing. You want a blessing from God? Then come forward and don't forget that check. Did you hear that, sweetie? He just said the spirit of God is strong in me. I guess you were wrong about your hubby after all. Yeah, you just gave him 10 grand. And besides, didn't Jesus say not to do your good works in public? Hey, hey, a famous pastor just gave me a special blessing. Why well, can't it be so legalistic? This guy is a charlatan in shame. He's a whole lot more successful than Pastor Bill with his dinky church. But no worries, I'll share my mansion in heaven with you. <sighs> Don't put your rock <sighs> on the ground. <sighs> Keep it in front of you. I, I can't go on. These rocks are too heavy and they're too hot. Get moving. No talking. My back is killing me. Shut up. Do you want to get beaten again? Do you? No, I don't want that again. Hey, you were in my orientation. How long have we been here? A thousand years. A thousand years. Wow. Such a short time. How oh, could a loving God do this to us? How could he do this to me? I ask myself that every day. Every day. Shut up, you. Hannah was right, you wicked fraudster. Are you going to remind me for the 10 millionth time about the $10,000 you gave me? Give it a rest, man. Yeah, I am. And I'm going to keep reminding you forever. It's because of you I'm in this mess. Do I the hear talking over here? Uh, no talking. Uh, okay. I'm going left. See ya. Okay. You weren't talking, were you? Uh, no. No, of course not. Oh. Oh. Get up. I want to hit you again. Liar. You're the guy who says he wonders why he's here. Heaven doesn't accept liars like you. Heaven? Maybe no one's there. Oh, there's people up there, all right. Your wife is there. 
You should have listened to her. I know, all right, I know. Can you cut me a break? I've been here for over a thousand years. A thousand and one years. Cut that? you a break? Are you serious? You gotta be here for a trillion years. And after that, another trillion. <laughs> All right, take a break. Make it quick. Hey, Jack? Jack, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. It's been 600 years since we saw each other. We can't bond him. No talking, no friendships. What do, you, what do you mean? The demons don't allow any bonding. We always have to be separated on the go. Please, man, please. I just need to ask you one question. Is there any possibility No, the second chance for me? Second chance? You should know the answer by now. The Bible says we're appointed to die once and face judgment. You had your chance. What's going on here? Get moving, get moving. He was talking to me. He was interrupting my work. Jack, is that so, Mr. Badman? You're a real troublemaker. I'm gonna have to teach you. Oh. Wake up! Get up! No rest for the wicked! You don't ask me questions. Understand? Move it! I don't deserve this. Oh. That homeless man you humiliated in public would disagree. But I digress. Do you know that man over there? No, I don't recognize him. Oh, of course you don't. No one would. He never got caught. That's the Zodiac killer. Remember? Hey, Zodiac! Come over here. <sighs> this is the smartest, most clever mortal being I have ever met. Killed over 100 people and was never caught. Wait a minute, 100? I thought it was 37 people. Closer to 300. No one thought I'd kill the others. I'm the best there ever was. What do you want? This guy doesn't think he deserves to be in the presence of scum like you. What do you have to say to that? I'm bored with these pathetic, self-righteous whiners. Really? Do you have any remorse now? Watch your back, fool. Let me just whack you in here. Get back to work. You watch your back. I'll get you. No problem. I'm the best there is. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Kill me? <laughs> Ooh. Now, surely you recognize him. You know this guy, right? Yeah. Where have I seen him before? That's the Las Vegas shooter. Shot and killed 58 people. Oh, yes. Now I remember. Yet another totally evil guy. Steven, come over here. What is it now? Can't you just leave me be? This guy thinks you're evil for killing all those people in Vegas. I have to get back to work. Do you have any remorse now? For what? For killing all those people in Vegas. You have a big mouth. You could be next. Back to work. 
Yes, sir. He has no remorse. Why did he kill all those people? Surely you know. I have no idea. Nor do I care. Everyone in here has done something bad. Just like you. You're implying that I'm just as evil as the Zodiac Killer or, or that mass shooter? Worse, actually. Jesus said if you hate, you're a murderer. First John 3.15. You think he was joking? No. I don't remember that verse either. You don't remember a lot of verses. That's one reason you're in here, boy. But I know all about your life, Mr. Batman. You killed more people than the Zodiac Killer. You hated all kinds of people. Shall I list them? No. No, I get your point. You killed more people than the Zodiac Killer. You killed more people than the Las Vegas Shooter. You murdered more people than both of them combined. But you, you killed them in your heart. Where no one could see. But I guess I did. <laughs> yeah. I hated a lot of people. <laughs> Thought I was better than all of them. Look at me now. I'm the worst of them all. What's wrong? Are you okay? Shut up! Your humility is making me sick. Genuinely sick. Now get moving. <laughs> I'm beginning to understand why I'm here. I was a fool. A total fool in every way. I just wish I had a second chance. Why can't I have another chance? Please, God! Why can't you give me another chance? <laughs> I know God very well. I'm a fallen angel, remember? Once you get here, there's no going back. You and I, we're in the same boat. Now get moving! You're in a good mood. What happened? Are you ready for this, honey? We just sold purebred foods for 600 million. My commission, what? Well, our commission is 20 million dollars. We finally made it, baby. Oh my goodness, Shane. You finally bagged the elephant. I can't believe it. Believe it? We, we can finally enjoy life now. Maybe now we can quit this rat race and really devote our time to the Lord. What? Are you kidding? I'm just getting started. I mean... But we already have so So stop guilt tripping me, Hannah. <sighs> I wonder who got my Porsche. Not again. You've been asking that same stupid question for the last 20,000 years. Is that how long we've been here? That's how long you've been here. I've been here for 20,100 years. 
I bought that car because I actually thought God wanted me to drive a Porsche that day. Crazy, huh? Well, it is true God wants to bless his people. But there are many other blessings out there than just money. I mean, that Porsche, why was it so important to you anyway? I guess I just wanted to show off. It was a sign to the world I'd arrived, that's all. Sometimes God does answer selfish prayers. James 1 says, you do not receive because you ask for selfish motives. But there are times when God gives you what you want anyway, and you suffer for it. How could God do this to me? Okay, I admit, I wasn't perfect. I was a little prideful, a little selfish. Okay, a lot selfish, but to send me to hell for that? I mean, other than that, I... I feel I was a pretty good person. I mean, I... Oh, really? What about that time you told me? Hey again. You remember me? Shane. Mm. Yeah. You wanna <laughs> get a drink? Sure. <laughs> but aren't you married? Yeah, I guess. Well, I don't date married men. Whoa. Was I talking about dating? I just said a drink. Okay. Sure, a drink. That's all? Yeah. Come on. You know spot. So what? I never slept with her. I was just looking. You're killing me, Jack. Shut up. Cut your talking against Batman. You'll never learn, will you? Come on, let's go back to work. Yeah. Get him out of my face. I can't believe it. He's going to conscience. Near Blackjack, come on! Near Blackjack, come on! That... That's me! I have a 20! <laughs> Is that girl? That, that's Veronica! That, that's the girl from my orientation. Place your bets. Are you married? I'm whatever you want me to be, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Whew! Yeah, I'm, uh... <gasps> and I know that dealer. That's the Legion. Yeah. $200,000 on the line. All oh, on the line. Ha <laughs> ha, 20! Woo! Yeah! Wow, you're a stud, man. Whatever, dude. Twenty-one. The house always wins. No! You broke her heart too, Shane. You still want to get that drink? <laughs> no. Anna knew all about the things you said to those two women. How? How did she find out? I... Remember the guy who won at Blackjack? Yeah. That was Hannah's sister's boyfriend. He told Hannah all about the things you did at that Blackjack table. It broke Hannah's heart. I never knew. Oh, but she knew. What's done in the dark will be revealed in the light, Shane. Now get back to work. Never in my wildest nightmare did I think it would come to this. I wish I could go back in time. For what? Do you really think you would have done anything differently? I know I wouldn't have. Of course I would have done things differently. <laughs> Everything would have been different. I would have been able to see my, my precious wife, Hannah, again. I miss her so much. Well, I don't believe you. Not making me feel better, Jack. Why would I? This is hell, remember? You'll never feel better again. Me neither. I wasn't born again. 
I was just some greedy pastor out to make money. I used Christ to take money from the elderly and the poor. Will this nightmare never end? That's it. I've had enough of you guys. And you and your buddy here are going to regret this. I've been regretting this for 20,000 years. I shouted, okay? Blame me. Don't hurt my friend. I'll take his punishment. <laughs> Little puke. Try to be like Jesus? There is no selflessness in hell! Get back to work! To work. Oh. What was going on with him? I don't know what you did, Shane, but you shook him up. I've never seen that from him all my time down here. Hey, brother. You okay, man? <laughs> Must be losing it. Wasting my precious time yelling at a homeless guy? What's wrong? Uh, I don't know, man, but I know those kinds of people really seem to push your buttons. So. Hey, I got an idea. How about you come with me to my Bible study this Friday night? We'd love to have you, man. Nah, I can't. Uh, you having dinner with Jacob Lester, remember? He's selling us all the Freely Burgers. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. I know. I know still I think it would be good for you to make some time. Seek ye first the, the kingdom, kingdom of God and I'm something not, yes. I don't yeah. remember the rest. Doesn't matter. I'm starting to sound like Hannah. And you know, Michael, God doesn't want us to starve either. Starve? You brother, come on, who's starving? You're worth over $20 million, man. <laughs> starving, brother, come on, man. Uh, you know, Michael, I, uh, I hate to do this, but I think I'm going to need to let you go. Okay, I, I really need people on this team that are, that are focused. You're not, this isn't working. You're not giving me what I need, okay? I'm sorry. It's tonight, we're supposed to go. I don't have time to go, Hannah. What part of that don't you understand? I just wasted my day serving soup to these worthless, unemployed druggies, and now this? What is more important than celebrating Christmas Eve at church? We do this every year. Candlelight service, I thought you liked it. Okay, I never, never liked it, ever. I hate Christmas. And you know what, I, I can't do this anymore. I want a divorce. I can't take it. You're just too, you're too fanatical. I'll send you the papers after Christmas. I'll be at our condo in Aspen in the meantime. Shane! What's going on over there? I don't know. Something strange. I've never seen a demon so agitated before. Get moving! What's going on? Everything okay? Shut your mouth. Pick up your rocks and keep your mouth shut. Move! My wife Hannah, she, she spoke about hell quite a bit. 
she was right. Yeah. I never listened to her. She was the only friend I had in the world. And I stabbed her in the back. She tried so hard to save me because... because she loved me. Come on, man. You told me this countless times. Boy, Legion really enjoyed telling you how she died of breast cancer, alone and friendless with no money. He really hated you. It's killing me, Jack. <laughs> she didn't want a penny, and so I took it all. She was the only one in the world who ever loved me. And now I'll never see her again. For all eternity. You cry every single time you tell me this. The past 50,000 years, you know that, right? Did I do nothing right? Did none of my good works count? I served soup to the homeless once. Doesn't that count for something? Oh, you mean those homeless losers you wasted your time on? Come on, Shane. The scariest verse in the Bible. Depart from me, I never knew you. You did it for yourself. Not Christ. I still don't understand. I accepted Jesus as my personal savior so all my sins would be forgiven. That's the gospel. Everybody knows that. No. That's the modern American church gospel. It's not the gospel of the Bible, man. But what about once saved, always saved? Why do you think you were saved? Apparently you weren't, or you wouldn't be here. So what is the real gospel then, Jack? I'm so confused. It's not about accepting Jesus as your personal savior. The first thing Jesus said when he began his ministry was, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. You want to know the real gospel? There it is, repentance. You're going to pay for that, American spy. I am not the Führer. But listen, whatever problem we had, that, that was 50,000 years ago. Well, let's work this out, fellas. You are a really doltish guy, huh? Stupid American. <laughs> let's beat them up. Let's beat them up. I give you a taste of my Chinese kung fu. I'm the Zodiac Killer. I'm the best there is. Let's take him out now. Let's throw him in the lake. No one will know. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Look, we can't die down here, all right? Let's just make the best of this. Fighting will only get us all in trouble. I have been in hell since 1945. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, man, we've been <laughs> in hell since 1999. We miss killing people. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <-hoo -hoo> <laughs> I've got a rock with your name on it. Zikael! Zikael! 999! You must respect the Fjord! America, the cock is broken! Polini, get these guys off my back. Why? You've repented too many times, Shane. It's time for them to teach you a lesson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen. I want someone that'll answer my questions now! What is it, Shane? Why are you being so disruptive? Look, I take responsibility for my sins. I know what a wicked person I was. I know I'm gonna be here forever, but I have one final request. 
And what is that request? We're going to get you, man. See you soon. I want to speak to my wife again, one last time. And why would we do that? Look, I do know a little bit about the Bible. I met that rich guy from Luke chapter 16. He spoke to Lazarus when he was here, and Lazarus was on the other side, correct? Yes, technically you are correct, but it was a one-time thing and it hasn't happened since. I desperately need to speak to her. I just want to tell her that I'm sorry for how I treated her and, and I want to tell her... It's not going to happen. I just want to tell her that... that I'm sorry for the way I treated her and that I really loved her, that's all. You are in hell. It is done. Over! Your soul belongs to hell for eternity. I have to see her one time. Please, Legion, I beg you. Just let me see her once, and I'll go with you forever. You are the only person who feels like that here. But your pettiful remorse is too little too late. What do you mean? I'll take you to where you belong. You do not belong here. What are you talking about? I don't like whiny complainers. And you are the biggest one here. What is it with you humans? God says you can have any tree but one. And you still want that tree. God asks for 10% of your income, but you choose to keep it all. He asks you to spread the gospel, but you're more interested in the Kardashians. Now you want to turn to Christ and love your wife? Now you want to tell her how much you love her. Shane, you shattered her heart when you divorced her. She had breast cancer and no money for treatment. She died alone with no one to comfort her. And now you want to make it right? I can't take this. God, God, please help me. He cannot hear you, you imbecile. His ears are closed to those in hell. Lord, what? What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I realize now who you are. You are a great God. I deserve hell. I deserve it because I crucified Jesus so many times in my life. I did, I realize now. I realize I'm just a filthy sinner. What are you doing? You bow down and worship me, not him. You gave me the best wife, the best woman a man could ever ask for, and I spit on her. You gave me so long to live a long life to find you and your love and your son, and I rejected you. God, please help me. Shane, Shane, come on, man. Stay with us, buddy. Yeah, on, you got this, man. Here. Breathe. Right come on, Shane. Breathe. Breathe. Come yes, on, breathe. Shane. Come on, breathe, Shane. Yes. 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 Come on, Shane. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Oh, thank you. Oh. God, for your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you. I deserve hell, and I will praise you even here. I... It's unbelievable. He's alive. Shane, are you all right? What's gotten into you, man? You're talking crazy. Where am I? Dude, you almost drowned, man. Thank God we got here just in time. No way. No. It can't be. It was a dream. <laughs> it was a dream. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Shane, are you all right? You're, you're talking crazy. What's gotten into you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't have time. I, uh, I gotta find my wife. Just Anna, where was your Anna wife? Did. Your ex wife? Still alive? Look, 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 of course she's alive. Your lawyer just spoke with her. No. So, hey, hey, where hey, are you going? Dude.
Hannah? Hannah? Open the door, please, God. Please. Please open the door. Shane? What are you doing here? I've waited 50,000 years for this moment. Shane, why are you here? What are you talking about? Are you drunk? No. Hang on a second. I know what you want. Wait, no. Wait. Here. I told you I wasn't going to give you a divorce, and I don't want your money, but I don't want to stand in your way anymore. I signed the divorce papers. There you go. We're, we're not divorced yet? They're not final? That was a dream, too? Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Shane, I... I think you're having a nervous breakdown. No, 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 no. I'm fine, I'm fine. Never better in my entire life, really. Uh, okay, um... Do you want to come inside for a second? I can make you some coffee. Yes, please, like. I'd like that, thank you. And who will come to Jesus Christ today? Yeah, I do. Thanks for pointing me on the right path. You're a real friend. And I'm making you vice president. Here's a job offer. What's this? This is a job offer. You got one waiting for you if you want it. My way of saying sorry for the other day. I never should have talked to you like that. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Come on. Let me show you the new spot. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> Get you back on your feet real quick. spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind in God. 2 Timothy 1.7.
Dressed in his righteousness alone, the faultless stand before the throne.